yes, this is true. The Western nations did prevent them from doing a lot of damage. But the problem with this is that the CIA, the FBI, and the NSA don't have a lot of information on what ISIS is doing. They're trying to play catch up when it comes to stopping many of these recruiters. Okay, so in your second point, you talk about how social media is used most specifically in the Western world to recruit, recruit ISIS fighters. How many people exactly have been recruited? Well, right now we only know of one person. But the scary thing is that there could be hundreds, if not thousands, of ISIS people across the world that we simply haven't discovered. Okay, so are you suggesting that ISIS will spread into the Western world, or merely that some Westerners will go to ISIS? No, what I'm suggesting is the ability of ISIS to spread through, uh, through social media. And through that, they pose a direct threat to Western countries, because they, were can, they can recruit Western citizens. Okay, but only if you have been recruited and then have returned, how is this going to impact the West? It only takes a few people to set up a bomb. It only takes a few people to throw to fly an airplane into two towers. It's clear that only finding one person doesn't mean that there are many others. Okay, in your third point, you talk about how the coalition has failed so far. Is it not true that if ISIS is encroaching on other areas, the coalition is going to take steps beyond airstrikes to try to protect themselves? Well, right now, it's not necessarily in the US's interest. Because the US and other Western countries haven't set up a successful ground force to fight against ISIS, they won't be able to stop their encroaching in the future. 